Hello everybody and welcome to Deadbolt Dragons Reviews and today is the first episode of a rebranding of this channel. I've decided to tackle Pokemon unboxings simply because they are all the rage these days and my channel really wasn't getting anywhere so I thought I'd rebrand it and take on something else entirely. So today we will be unboxing the Pokemon XY Breakthrough Mega Mewtwo X box. Now I picked this up for $9.99 at my local Videodrome, Superdrome, whatever you want to call it. And I'm really interested because I've been collecting Pokemon cards for a good six months now. And this set looks absolutely awesome. Uh, Breakthrough as a set is amazing. So let's get into the package, open up the package and see what we have. Here's the box. And here are the contents. Anyway, let's get this plastic covering off for a second. My oh, man, it's going to be a big fumble. Ah, there it is. Hey, come back, booster packs. Come back, booster packs. And the black star from. I will get this out eventually. The black star promo card is Mewtwo. Uh, foil Mewtwo promo card. Promo, hang on. Can't really see. XY100. Especially if you're keeping track on those people who've actually unboxed this a bit before, before I have. Um, yep, that's pretty cool. Um, Cybolt, one psychic, one not colorless for 20 damage. And Zen Blade for two psychic, two colorless. Anyway. Put that to the side. With any other cards I may have got today. TCG code, which I will not be giving out. Um, three packs. And also the nice little bonus. Get the plastic packaging off. There's Mewtwo X EX jumbo size card. And it's Mewtwo X, which in my personal opinion is the better of the two Mewtwo Megas. Just my personal opinion. A lot of people seem to like Mewtwo Y for whatever reason. Uh, Vanishing Strike, one Psychic, two Fighting, one Colorless, 150 plus damage. If there is any Stadium card in play, this attack does 50 more damage, and this attack's damage isn't affected by resistance or any effects on your opponent's active Pokémon. So that's pretty cool. The artwork is amazing, as is the case on all the X's. But that's that. That's that jumbo promo out of the way. Now to the real meat of this packaging. I'm sure that joke that I used to put in my videos will crop up in in a second or so. Like, like right here. Anyways. <laughs> So we got one Roaring Skies, one Ancient Origins, and one Breakthrough. I'll leave, I'll do them in chronological order. Here we go with Roaring Skies and our good buddy Deoxys, Mr. Downgrade, playing the playing Auras, and all of a sudden he's no longer an event, which is good for players looking to get him nowadays. But and I'll oh, hold on to that. I did see something. I did see something, this already looks like a good pack, so I'll go free from the back. And anyway, start off, Fero, Pelipper, Revive, Halucha, Cascoon, oh man, anticipation is growing, Meowth, looking very very happy, that is like one of my favourite Meowth arts, Ancient Trade Natu, Natu's always been weird. It's just a weird bird Pokemon to me. Flying type, even. It's just been one of those weird things. Zatu as well, but anyway, I digress. Series Hall, I mean, mascot Pikachu. Reverse Banet. Ancient Trait, I like that. I love Banet as a ghost type. Let's see what we got to finish off. Holy crap! It's Mega Rayquaza EX. Oh my god, look at how gorgeous that is. Oh, that's one of the cards I was waiting to pull. 
I always wanted something to do with Rayquaza. Rayquaza, 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 whatever way you say it. But that is an amazing pull. Oh my god, this box is off to a great start already. Emerald Break, 3 colorless, 30 plus damage. Attack does 30 times damage times the number of your bench Pokemon. That is awesome. Oh, that was a great start. That's pretty awesome. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Roaring Skies did us well, didn't it? Now, hey Tyranitar, help us out, will you? So, hello Magikarp. No, oh, no, no. Take the code card away. Nobody's getting that, except my friend. So start with Magikarp, Ralts, Oddish, Eevee. Cotney. Oh, shit. One, two. Well, isn't this an outtake? Tyranitar, Spirit Link, Whimsicott, Energy Recycler, Reverse Beldum, and ooh, a Foil Guard of War. That's pretty awesome. The ability Bright Wand, is that? Bright Heal. Bright Heal and the telekinesis as its other move. That was pretty cool. Next on. Breakthrough. Now, this set I've seen reviews in Japanese of Japanese unboxings and this set looks absolutely amazing. So let's get into this one. My opening skills will not be as botched. Well, yes, they will. In later videos. Take the code card away. And, nope. I saw something. This is what happens when you botch. Botcha mania. Anyway. Uh, Staravia. Oh, God. Anticipation. Frogadier. Swoobat. No, stop it. Woobat. Oh. That's cool to get one after the other. Actually, that last card is teasing me. Ramoraid. No, no, stop it. Spritzy. No, stop. Cyndaquil. Oh, Reverse Gengar. I love that art. Now, let's see what we pulled. Mega Glalie EX. Oh my, that... That is such an awesome art if I don't drop it. Anyway, Cryo Mouth. Oh, I wish I would have gotten the full art version because the full art looks absolutely baller. And I would have loved to have seen it. Oh, God, that's amazing. Look at that glow. That is awesome. Especially with that reverse, I'd say this was a good box. Uh, gonna put that to the side now. Now, let's recap. Mm -mm. Put them there. Let's recap. Mega Rayquaza EX. God of War Hollow. Mega Glalie EX. That was probably one of the best products I've ever bought. And then of course the Black Star promo, U2. And where is he? And then you have this thing, the Jumbo promo. And that was a pretty awesome box. Uh, couldn't be happy. Two EXs and a hollow. That's Especially since I had Buyer's Remorse on it, that's a pretty good, like, kickback. But anyways, guys, I thank you for watching this unboxing. I hope to see you soon on later unboxings, which this channel will probably be from this going forth. And a lot of Pokemon-themed videos to come, so thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bruh.